So tonight is our final holiday selling workshop, the end, the show, the whole shebang. And we're going to cover all of December, including the magical week between Christmas and New Year's, which I really think it is a magical week. So the first thing we are going to dive into is, wait for it. Okay, first thing we're, that I want to talk about is inventory, um, ordering deadlines, and um, how to stock up on some things. Okay, so here's the scoop. <laughs> this is, I, I feel like a lot of the time of year, you know, throughout the rest of the year, you can kind of get away with either not having inventory, not having a lot of inventory. I mean, there's some challenges and whatnot, but this really is the one time of year where it gets tricky if you don't have any inventory. And here's why. Um, because Da, 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 this here. Um, not that, this. <laughs> we have an ordering deadline. Okay, so here's what this deadline means. So December 10th, since we're all in the mainland, right? December 10th is the date that Mary Kay Corporate is saying that if you order by the 10th, we guarantee that we will get it to you before Christmas. Okay, so that's what this date means. That doesn't mean that you couldn't maybe order on the 13th. There's a little bit of fudge room, maybe. Okay, again, I don't even like putting numbers out there or saying anything because you could be like, Emily said that I could maybe get away with ordering a little later. No, no, no. So this is when they are guaranteeing that you and or like if you're CDSing, easy shipping things, that um, that people are going to be able to, to get things. Now, here's where it gets tricky. A lot of men aren't shopping on December 10th, right? They're shopping on December 20th. <laughs> my dad used to take my mom and I, or not my mom, my dad used to take my brother and I to Appleton to go shopping Christmas Eve day to get stuff for my mom. So if you don't have any product on hand, this is when it gets tricky because if you want to continue to sell during that time, you're not going to be able to get it to people by Christmas. Okay. So that's, so I just am telling you this so that you can keep that in mind. Like, so some things to maybe think about are, okay, if I'm, if I'm going to sell to men and we have Kate and Amanda are going to give you some ideas tonight on how to sell to men for their gift giving and not just their wives. It could be their daughters. It could be their grand, you know, their grandmothers, like whatever. What are some gifts that they might want, right? So good things are like satin hands, satin lips, um, the hydrogel eye patches, um, the fragrance, some of the fragrance things or that um, lotion set that we have, that purple lotion set, like some of that stuff you might want to have on hand. Uh, likewise, um, if women are looking for a last minute gift for men, they'll, they'll buy a men's fragrance. So just kind of look at, you know, if you don't have anything on hand, maybe like this might be the time of year to get a couple things on hand if you want to continue to sell through the holidays. And friends, I just want to tell you that I would recommend that because you can sell a ton in December. How many of you have had big sales months in the month of December, right? It's a time when people, yeah, lots of you are raising your hand. I sell big in December and I don't want you to miss out on that because you're like, well, it's past the 10th. How am I supposed to get people their products and whatnot? So, um, so I wanted to make a big <laughs> thing about that. The other thought for you is look at December and say, um, I'm going to be talking here in a second about virtual gift giving sessions. Like how do you do a virtual gift giving session? Like say you go live in your Facebook group and give gift ideas it might be smart to do that session before December 10th, which is what I'm going to do for my customers. I'm going to do a session and do it before December 10th so that I have the ability to place that order and get their gifts in um, before then. So, um, so those holiday shopping experiences, as many as you can book before December 10th, if you don't have inventory, is going to be helpful. So that's the first thing I want to talk about is virtual gift giving sessions. This is so simple. Any of you on this Zoom can do this. And it's basically, um, this was born out of COVID, right? Instead of doing an open house and you clean your house and you do all this stuff. And I know some people have really successful open houses. Well, 
Now, this will be my third year doing virtual gift giving sessions. And all it is, is you go live or if you want to do a Zoom, it's totally up to you. A Zoom might be fun too. If you want to like, I don't know, maybe you do an ugly sweater contest or something. You can be creative with this. But all it is, it's quick. It's 20 to 30 minutes of you just going live and sharing your ideas at different price points for people to shop with you. And I've done this now for three years in a row. I actually just had a customer text me the other day and say, Em, are you doing one of those virtual gift giving sessions? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to get that booked. So um, so step one is pick a date. Um, I'm going to do, let's see, I got to see when I set mine here. Um, I am going to do mine. I'm actually going to do it on the 10th because I'm out of town a little bit and it just worked out in my schedule. Okay. So I'm going to do it the day of the 10th. So they're going to have to order for me, but I do have inventory in hand. So um, I have the ability, even if, you know, they can't. So, um, so what do you do during it? I'm going to be, so again, just like all the other holiday workshops that we've done, I'm going to have an email going out tomorrow with all of this stuff. Okay. So I'll share the Canva template. Now I want to sort of backtrack a little bit. When I share a Canva template, I don't necessarily have it 100% how it should be. So like you go through it and edit it how you want. It doesn't edit on mine, but it'll edit yours. Uh, I just want to mention that because some of the stuff that I had, uh, one of the things I had posted in the Black Friday thing was from last year and it had some of the old products in there. And and this does too. I haven't redone it yet. Um, So one of the things that I like to do now you, you can choose your own adventure with this. For example, the easiest way to do this is just, you know, maybe ahead of time, just in a notebook, write out 10 to 15 gift ideas and you literally just hold it up and show it and you say who the gift would be good for. So for example, I this one I talk a lot about. This is my Mint Bliss and Socks set. Um, it retails for 12 right? Yeah. I'm having a brain fart. Okay. Well, we're just going to say it's 12. I think it's 12. Um, It's retail for 12. You get a free pair of fuzzy socks, which is amazing. This gift, um, and and you, then you go into romancing it, right? Like who is this gift good for? This gift is good for anybody. It's good for your mom. It's good for your grandma. It's good for your daughter. It's good for your teacher. Um, I keep, I, I try to convince people like take how many of these you think you might need Let's say you think, oh, I have three ladies in my life that might need a gift like this and then buy three extra because this also makes a really great gift for that holiday party that you need a gift that you forgot about, but the gift has to be between 10 and $20. Like this is the perfect gift. Or you, I swear there's someone I forget about every year that I'm like, oh crap, I didn't get my Aunt Leanne a gift. Well, okay, this is perfect for her. You know, like this is a gift you you can have extra of. And if they, if they don't even like, they can even have their own little inventory stash of mint bliss. Now the socks are sold out. So again, if you didn't stock up on the socks, you can still sell the mint bliss lotion. If you want to find a pair of socks at like the Dollar Tree, um, just add the cost of the socks in with the lotion. So that's an option too. But this is just an example. So you just hold things up. You go live for 20 minutes. You hold things up. You tell people how to order. And then the key is, is you follow up. You say, did you watch my gift giving session? Have you gotten your holiday gifts yet? It's not enough to just go live and slap some spaghetti on the wall and hope that someone sticks. It's you do it. And then you say, did you need anything from it? And that's how you sell you guys. You have to do that follow up. It doesn't mean it can just be a text that goes out to everybody like, hey, what'd you think? You know, are there any gift giving ideas you haven't like quite nailed down yet? Blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's a really simple way to do it. If you want to make it a little more complicated, um, you can choose to have different price point ideas. So this is a Canva template I made last year. So I haven't revamped it yet for this year, but you can put whatever products you want. You just, you know, put the clip art in there. But um, so I had different price points. So price point one is like that lower price point. I sell more of price point one than any other price point because most people are looking for those grab and go type gifts like the mint bliss and the socks. Um, The nice list, this is kind of like a medium, like a little bit more expensive, like maybe, um, you know, 40 to, you know, anywhere from 
30 to $50. And then there's the nice list. This is like, you're buying something a little bit more expensive between 50 and a hundred dollars. Um, and the same thing, I had some men's stuff, um, the extra special ones that's like over a hundred. Right. Um, and the same thing with the men's. And then I had the prices and stuff listed out. Um, I'm going to be honest. This was my first year last year doing it this way with the stuff all listed out. I sold just as much spending hours doing all that graphic designing as I did just saying that here's this, here's how much it is, here's who it's good for. And I just have them have a piece of paper and take notes. Honestly, it's, it's really simple. So 20 or 30 minutes and you want to hype it up. The key to it is the hype. You got to become the hype squad. Like you're on Facebook, like, oh my gosh, so excited. I'm going live this Saturday to share all my gift giving. And you need to explain that I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm just going to go through gift options. You can just sit back, relax, sip your favorite beverage and, uh, and shop while I like, you know, present different ideas at different price points to help you with, you know, skip the mall, all that stuff. You got to make it sound easy. And then, you know, you could even do a countdown, like two days until my holiday gift giving session, you're texting them. You're not just posting it on Facebook. So um, good idea or good question, Amanda, how far in advance do I say this? Honestly, like you could even do one this weekend. You could like, if you're around this weekend, you could do, it doesn't even have to be a weekend. It could be a weeknight, but I mean, if you're free Saturday or if you're free Sunday night, or if you're free Thursday night this week, you could easily do it like within a few days. It does not have to be, if you're trying to finish a goal this month, you could totally do Wednesday or Thursday this week. To, to finish out your November, you could do more than one. You could do one this Thursday and then you could do one. Um, I used to do three of them. And then I was like, eh, it's silly. I'm just going to do one or two. If, if a lot of people miss it, I can throw in another one. This does not have to be like majorly pre-planned ahead of time. So yes. And I, Deb, great question. I will post, I will put the Canva templates and the things in the email that I will be sending out tomorrow. Okay. So that's idea number one. If you have questions, drop it in the chat. I keep thinking my ideas are on a post-it note. They're not, they're on a document on my computer. Okay. <laughs> All right. And you can even call it giftology or, you know, if you want to think of some fancy name, you can do that. All right. The other thing that I like to do, this is how I sell a lot in December. In, in addition to a gift giving session, I like to prep my customers and have a strategy. Okay, if the ordering deadline is the 10th and I want to get as much sold before the 10th as possible, here's how I do that. I offer a special coupon to my customers for anyone who places any order between December 1st and 10th. I don't tell them this until December 1st, but any customer who orders by de between December 1st and December 10th, whether it's gift giving, whether it's for their own stash, they're going to get a coupon to use from me. In addition to that, I'll show you the coupon in a second. In addition to the coupon, they get the 50% off special deals. Okay. So um, I know we've been doing these for a couple of years now. Let me pull up the latest one. So I just posted December special deals today. But if you don't, I want to explain this for new consultants. So what the special deals are. So this is the, hold on. This is the December one, okay? So every $50 increment that your customer purchases, you can send her this, this picture. Like just, I usually just text it to her and say, girl, oh my gosh, you qualified for a half price item. Is there anything you want off this sheet? So that's one way to do it. Another way to use it is, Girl, oh my gosh, you're at $46. Did you know if you spend four more dollars, you get to choose an item off this sheet at 50% off. Now, the, the key is we really don't have anything that's $4. So typically they'll pick another like $10 to $14 item. So you've just upped your sales total. They're excited because they're getting a 50% off item. I want you to think of your favorite store. And if they said, if you spent four more dollars, you'd get a half price item, like any shirt in the store, you'd probably figure it out, right? Um, and what's great is over time, your customers get on a lot of different products they maybe wouldn't have purchased originally. I found, I have found that it's really increased my reorders over the last two years doing it this way. And there are some great deals on here for the month of December, like thinking of you perfume, 
Um, I love the naturally moisture stick, all of the ghost sets. I love that there's a look and that's a good look. It's biscotti moonstone hazelnut burnished bronze. Like that's one of the best makeup looks we have. It's going to be a good month. So they're going to get a coupon and they can take advantage of the special deals. And it is any purchase December 1st through 10th. So as soon as it is December, I will be hyping up this coupon. Now, let me show you the coupon. And yes, you will have access to the coupon. And if you want to do something different, great. It's a Canva template, girl. You can edit your little heart's desire out here. Um, but here's the coupon. Okay, so if they order, so if they order the first 10 days of the month, they're going to get a $20 off coupon uh, off of a $60 or more purchase. The key to the coupon, it is only good. Christmas Eve through New Year's Eve, like that week. That's it. So if they forget to use the coupon, <laughs> they don't get to use it. It is only good for that week. Now, here's what I love, you guys. Um, I've done this for a couple of years. Um, that week between Christmas and New Year's is all kinds of magic, okay? We don't talk enough about that. We talk a ton about holiday selling, but there's a lot of business to do that week between Christmas and New Year's. So what I love about this is I keep a notebook list. So this is the other key to this thing. You either need just, I do it old school and just have a notebook and I just make a list. Everyone I sent the coupon to, because, you know, we forget, I don't know if you're like me, but I forget who I gave the coupon to. And, <laughs> and that's what I follow up with that week. And I say, girl, your coupon is good this week. Like, is there anything that you need? And I sell big between Christmas and New Year's because people have money from Christmas, right? They got a Christmas present, so they have money. Again, people are kind of like, oh, I've been buying stuff for other people. I want to pamper myself. January is approaching. So, so people have on their minds like, oh, I want a new look for the new year. And or, you know, kind of like that New Year's Eve look type thing. So there you go. So that so it's a great way to, to make those extra sales. And the other thing I want to say about that, and, and then Anna is going to, Anna, you're on deck. Anna is going to talk to us about booking, is in the month of December, just looking how you're languaging things, right? So women want, you want to like always language everything you're doing around making it easier, right? Whatever it is, you're making it easier for them. You're also promoting self-care because um, maybe if you just called it like, oh, we're doing a mask party, nobody's going to book for that. But if you call that exact same party, oh my gosh, like it's the holidays. I know we're all so busy, but like, let's just take an hour and do self-care. Okay. No woman wants to admit she's going to say no to self-care. Okay. So self-care is important. New or, um, Holiday glamour is big too. Like you want to look good for the holidays. You want to look your best in all the pictures. Like let's just do a quick session and like find the right colors for you. The week between Christmas and New Year's is New Year's makeovers, right? So um, yeah, so Anna is going to give us her best tips for booking and holding a lot of parties in December because um, the first time I ever did a perfect 20 where I held 20 parties in a month, it was December. I also was a brand new DIQ in December. I also earned my very first Cadillac in December. A lot can happen in December. So Anna, I'm going to remove the spotlight and put it on you, girlfriend. Take, take it away. Okay. okay, so my first tip is look at your schedule. I actually did this today um, to look ahead to December and Ideally, you have like your paper calendar, whatever, you, however you keep track of your time. But I took a sheet of paper and wrote down every day and I put a line for all of the days that I have available. And I know exactly how many time slots I have open for the month of December. So set yourself up knowing before the end of the month, before Thursday night, know what your availability is to hold parties. We all know that there's a ton, tons of ways to sell products for gift giving and all of that, like Emily just talked about and Kate and Amanda are going to talk about with men. But the life force of your business is being in front of faces and holding your parties. So do not forget about that. Um, and I'm going to share Emily's number one rule. She actually, she quizzed Kate and Amanda and I this 
on this recently and we couldn't remember. So now it's sealed in. Do not rely on future business to take care of the business you need now. And so basically don't think you're going to go into like the end of the month and you're going to sell to men and you're going to get your $600 and be a sore achiever just off selling to men or selling to gifts. Um, make sure you're actually holding parties and being in front of faces and you want to have your perfect contest for when you go to uh, raise the tide. So that's the first thing. So get yourself set up with the schedule. Then when you are reaching out to people, um, I know from some of the people in my unit that they did not have the November that they wanted. And if you feel like you don't have the leads, it is not too late to go out and honor working women. I'm actually planning on doing that this week. Um, I'm going to a conference in an afternoon. So I'm going to take the entire morning in that area and go honor working women. So it is not too late to find your avenues to go out and get new leads. Um, so, but I would do that now, like do that here in the next, like this week or the very, very beginning of next week, if you need more leads to get yourself through December, but all of that prep work is going to set you up for a good month. Once you have your leads, this is a text that I have been sending out even already. Um, I've sent this more so with people that I wanted to book and they were like, I'm so busy or I need to look at my schedule or, you know, all of those things that we hear. Um, so here's how I worded it. Okay. So hi, first name or whoever you're sending it to. It's Anna with Mary Kay. I know how busy things get. So I wanted to touch base about the holiday makeover um, self-care night and the shopping spree that you won. You seemed excited, so I had to let you know about a fun bonus holiday special I have going on. If you have your makeover with three plus friends by Sunday, December 17th, you'll get a free microdermabrasion abrasion set. There's no catch and it's easy and relaxing. Here are dates I have open. Let me know which works best for you. Excited to meet you again. And then I put the little Santa face with my name. But again, you are making it about them and about the self-care, the, the, you know, you're, this is going to feel really good. Or if you're doing more of a holiday makeover, glam night to look good. Um, I'm also doing like glow for the holidays. I don't know. I thought that was kind of a cute one. So but you want to make it sound very holiday-ish. So they're more excited and have something to go with it. But you also need to put in there, like, hey, I'm doing this with this extra gift. Make it a good one, not just like a hand cream. But he's going to do your party for a $12 product, do something nice and big that's going to excite them. And um, again, have different terminology for your parties about big things that are like glow for the holidays or like you're going to have like the best look for when you go to your holiday parties or self-care. So you want to make it really fun and entice them with those things. Um, I think that's, oh, on my picture that I send out to you, let me see if I can actually screen share here. I changed my picture also. Okay. Um, okay. So can everybody see my picture here with my dates? Okay. Let's see shaking your head. Yes. So I actually put that on here. So I put my dates and then I put the microdermabrasion set and I have on there, hold it with three friends on or before December 17th. So again, you're like, putting it in the text, but you're also making it clear. And I know Emily said the 15th, but Sunday is the 17th. So I did it through Sunday because people want to book parties on the weekends. Awesome, Anna. Thank you for that. That was great, great tips. Woohoo. Um, one other point I want to make, I love Anna that you talked about doing that lead generating and um, Think of everything we do in our business where you're like out in the public, whether you're at an expo or like a craft fair or you're honoring working women or you're, I don't know, a bridal fair, literally anything that you are doing in your business where you're out in the public, you can make it fun by just throwing on a Santa hat, right? So you're honoring working women with a Santa hat and you're taking in your, so if you've never heard of that idea, I have all the details on the website, but you have a little bag with um, you can either do real flowers or wooden flowers and just imagine walking into a business 
and saying, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm Santa's helper today. I have gifts for everybody. I have roses for you guys. I'm honoring professional women today. Compliments of Mary Kay. So you all get flowers and chocolates and they're all just like dying and you're wearing a Santa hat. Nobody's going to be mad at you or cranky because you have a Santa hat on. And oh, I'm doing a drawing today too. I'm giving away some charcoal mask treatments and makeovers and gift cards. So just think of all the things that you do. And I'm not even kidding you guys, just throw on a Santa hat and like people are just like, uh, this is so great. Like, it's just fun. It makes it fun and light. And that's what people are looking for this time of year. So thank you, Anna, for that little tip, um, on booking. Uh, here we go. Okay. I'm just looking at the comments. Rock a hat. So I see. Okay. Yeah. It could be elf ears. It could be a Santa hat, like whatever you're into, just do it. So bookings are really important. And the other time that you can really book a lot is that week between Christmas and New Year's, right? Again, you could book smoky eye sessions if they're going out for New Year's or glitter sessions, like learn how to glitter. The other thing to think about is who are people during the holidays that I normally wouldn't be able to reach when it's not the holidays? So here's a great example. Who are the college students you know who are home from college for break? Maybe you could do a mother-daughter college pampering party that has to take place those couple weeks of Christmas. So that would be a, a great option. Maybe it's people who you have in your family that, that live like out in, I don't know, California or something, and they're home for, for Minnesota for the break period that you could do. So start thinking about some of that stuff um, now too. Okay. So that's booking and Anna nailed it. Like continuing to hold parties through the holidays is where it's at because you want to have business still in January. I think you all know this story, but my first December in Mary Kay, I joined in October. December hit and I was like, it's the holidays. I just want to enjoy all the lights. I don't even know what I was thinking. And so I did nothing. Actually, I did one thing, which was I collected gifts for this like nursing home, which is another idea you can do. Um, it's adopt a grandparent where you collect donations for gifts, um, you know, using our lotions and things to give um the people in the nursing home. But I did that my first year. I did nothing else. And then I almost quit Mary Kay in January because I was like, I don't have any business. I don't know anybody. And I and I freaked out. So just do yourself a solid and continue to work your business like you normally would. You just maybe throw on a Santa hat and make it a little more fun and have some extra <laughs> things like gift ideas and stuff like that. So we are going to switch gears to da -da -da, one of my favorite things every year, selling to men. <laughs> Um, selling to men is, is fun because, um, they're, they're desperate. I mean, not every single one, but they're looking for gifts. They're looking for something quality. They're looking for something that their wife is going to like. So we are going to start with Kate on how to contact men and what do you even say? And how does it all work? So Kate, I'm going to pin ya. Where is she? Here she is. All right, girl, take it away. Okay, well, I'm going to reiterate what Emily just said about working your business in December because I have missed one quarter as a star consultant, and it was my second quarter, and it was because I didn't do anything in December, which then led to a really, really, really slow January and February, and so don't, don't do that. <laughs> Keep working your business. Um, but yeah, I want to talk to you guys about selling to men. And so I have three tips for you guys to make this really, really easy. And the first one is I want you to like Hulk smash the limiting belief that men will not buy Mary Kay for the ladies in their life because you guys, they will and they do because we make it easy for them and men like easy. So um, throw that out of your mind and replace that limiting belief with a new thought of, I am the queen at selling Mary Kay to men because you definitely can be. So that's, that's tip number one. Number two is I want you guys before you go to bed tonight to make a list of 10 to 20 men in your life that you could be a personal shopper for. It could be your brother, your dad, cousins, coworkers, um, like my best friend's husbands, anybody that in your life 
you could be a personal shopper for. And if you're struggling to make that list, you know, just just go out a little bit further. Like, who do you know through a business relationship or church relationship or a community group? Um, just think about those men because all men have somebody, some woman in their life that they need to shop for in the next month. And they are not going to be thinking about it for at least another two weeks, but we can reach out to them now. Okay, so you got your list. Step three is actually reaching out to them um, and letting them know that you can be their personal shopper and you can give your Santa gifting services to them this Christmas. And so Emily will be posting my scripts in the email that's going out tomorrow. So I'm just going to kind of fly through them. But I take my list or collect your wish list that I trained on back in was end of September. Um, the holiday wish list that I've been handing out to customers, they put down their Santas. A lot of them will put down their spouse their boyfriend, their husband, um, that you can reach out to, to help them give gifts this Christmas for them. I actually had one of my customers yesterday that said she was taking a catalog to circle all the things and just like giving it to her husband. Well, guess what? I'm not going to rely on that. I'm going to reach out to him with this script. So here's the first script. I say, Hey, Jeff, this is Kate Gall, and I'm friends with Jackie. I have a question for you. Let me know. Do you have a quick sec? And then when he answers, I say, great. Thanks so much. I have a really great gift idea for Jackie that I know she's going to love. Just wondering if you've thought any um, thought about your Christmas shopping at all. I have a great gift. It's a Christmas stocking loaded with Mary Kay goodies that I know she would like and she will love. The stockings range anywhere from $60 to $300. Most guys go with a $100 stocking. I just lost my script, but you can do any price range. I take cards to how good has Jackie been this year? And I always like to end with that line of how good has she been this year? Um, in the past, I've given like exact price points of, you know, 100, 150, 250. I, I like to leave it open. You guys, you can do whatever feels comfortable for you, but I always give that price range and they're, they're never going to pick the low number. So don't, don't cut yourself short by doing like $20, $25. They're going to spend more than 50. And really it's going to be hard for you to find a gift to create that will be worthwhile for under $50. So I always do 50 or $60 as my low end, 250, 300 as my high end. And they're going to wind up right in the middle. And then um, the end of the script is, oh, and by the way, you don't have to worry about what to pick out. I'm 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 the Santa, winky face, pro. Let me know if you want me to make your Christmas shopping super simple this year. Because you guys, they don't know. <laughs> but I, I always focus on like the self-care items because I don't want it to be too specific. Um... And really, if if he wants input, sometimes I'll ask, like, it depends on if I know him or not. Like, if he's one of my good friends, then I'll be like, hey, do you want to go more fragrance? Do you want to go more self-care? 99% of the time, they don't care. They put all the trust in you. So do not overthink selling to men use the scripts that will be in the email tomorrow and and just ask i mean what's the worst that can happen they say no um and most of them won't because you are taking that off of their plate and i 
offer gift wrap. I offer delivery right to them. I'll deliver a lot of times to their work so that she doesn't know. Um, and yeah, I just, I really focus on the self-care items. And then I generally put in a coupon as well. I'll do like a $20 gift card and a free pamper session as a little add-on. And then also a reminder that all of our products are 100%, have a 100% satisfaction guarantee because I have had them come back and like switch out the fragrance of satin hands. So yeah, that's all I got. Awesome, Kate. Yay. If you have questions for Kate, drop it in the comments right now. I loved, um, I loved your script because that is the key. Like you want to suggest price points and just, if you've never been in sales before, um, this is kind of like sales 101 type stuff, but if you offer three price points, people will typically pick the middle, right? They don't want to be cheap. So then I can pick the lowest one and maybe they, you know, it's out of their budget to do the highest, but the middle one seems like a safe bet. So if you throw out, so I think Kate's middle price point was a hundred. That's typically, and, and she suggested it. Did you hear in her script? She used the power of suggestion to say most men pick a hundred, right? Because Sometimes like the hardest thing about gift giving is knowing how much to spend on someone, right? So you're suggesting it <laughs> like this is a good amount to spend and, I, and it is. So um, what, so take what Amanda had kind of wrapped up or, you know, whatever your gift idea is, you know, if it's this or whatever. So what, what a pillow gift is. Um, so here's what you do. Here's how you can sell a lot in starting now. You're having a conversation. doesn't matter if it's with your girlfriend someone else's husband, just like you're having conversations with people. And um, you just say, oh, have you bought a pillow gift yet? You just say that, like you, you'd be in a conversation. Have you bought a pillow gift yet for the people in your life? And they're going to go, what's a pillow gift? Because wouldn't you say that? I mean, even Amanda's like, what's a pillow gift, right? <laughs> like, what's a pillow gift? And you say, oh, it's like the best gift giving idea that I have. It's um, so like, let's say it's a husband to a wife. And you know how like the wife maybe decorated the whole house. So like, yeah, and you've already opened all of the gifts. Like it's Christmas Eve or Christmas day. Whenever you open your gifts, all the gifts have already been opened. So he or she or whoever you're gifting it to is not expecting it. But it's one last gift that you put on their pillow after Christmas as in a, with a sweet note that just saying, I appreciate everything that you've done to make Christmas special for the family or you know, the note could really say anything, but it's that one last little gift on a pillow that they're not expecting. I mean, can you imagine like your husband putting one last gift on the pillow that you thought all the gifts were done and then there it is. Like, I don't know, I would be pretty excited about it. So, um, or just, it's just the gesture of it. And it's typically a pillow gift isn't, it could be, I wouldn't go any smaller than like something like this, but it could be even just like hydrogel eye patches would be an amazing pillow gift. Um, that enhance that would be an amazing pillow gift. And again, it could be husband to wife. It could be um, mom to, or daughter to a mom. It's just, you know, think about your own family, right? Like, does your mom host Christmas? Like maybe surprise her It stick something, you know, in her room that she's not expecting um, after all the gifts have been opened. So that's what a pillow gift is. So it's just more just you opening your mouth and saying, have you bought? And if you're talking to a, like a a guy friend of yours, have you bought Beth her Christmas or her pillow gift yet? And he's going to be like, what the heck is a pillow gift? They always get so annoyed. They, they're like, oh, great. Some other thing I don't know anything about. So um, yeah, Kendra did it for her mother-in-law. I mean, that's that's like mother-in-law street cred right there. Like if you want to get in with your mother-in-law, that would be a really good way to do it. So there you go, ladies. The last thing I'm going to share. So Kate, I actually like Kate's idea because it's so simple, like doing the Christmas stockings for the the men but one of the ideas you'll hear and there's a hundred different ways I've seen this done you could do those beauty boxes that Amanda had you could do 12 of those you could do um, a basket with 12 individually wrapped gifts in it you could do um, however you want to do it this is my example so this we call the 12 days of Christmas and this is like a bigger price point for guys um you really can't do a 12 days of Christmas for less than a hundred. So it's either a hundred, 199 or 299 that we typically do for these. 
And what it is, is it's 12 individually wrapped gifts, right? So it could be like a lip balm, like, the, you know, depending on the price point is going to determine what's in all these little boxes that you wrap up. And again, this was just like a box I got off of um, Nashville wraps. It's called, you can do it in a basket. You can do it in a stocking, like Kate was talking about. And you explain it. It's, it's literally one of the most fun gifts and it's unique. I think a lot of people are looking for unique and not the same old, same old. So this is really unique. So it's 12 individually wrapped gifts and whoever is opening it can either open one gift a day for the 12 days leading up to Christmas, or they could do one gift an hour the day of Christmas, or they could open them all at once, right? But it's the thought of it, right? So it's 12 individually wrapped things put in a box. So it's 12 gifts in one box um, and the person um, doing it. Now this Traditionally speaking, in the past, it was a husband to a wife. Um, and again, like Kate said, you'd put a coupon in here for a, a pampering session, put your information all over things. So if they need to switch anything out, you're there for them. But it, it could also be a mom to a daughter. It could be um, a best friend to a best friend. It could be a sister to a sister. It doesn't just have any of these gift ideas really aren't just husband to wives. It could be any, anything, but it's just another unique gift idea. So this is called 12 days of Christmas. If you just go to Google and search Mary Kay, 12 days of Christmas, you'll see a hundred other ways. Like some people make these big towers. It's like insane. Um, keep it simple. <laughs> it's always what I like to go with. I, I do have a couple of clients, um, male clients in the past who have bought um, a bunch of those from me too. So it's just like another idea. I love Kate's idea with doing it all in a stocking. Like that's adorable. And you can get stockings um, relatively cheap. So, all right, I'm just going to close us today. Um, I hope you're excited, you guys. This time of year really is the most fun time of year to um, just get those random sales and get customers and get your foot in the door. And then January gets fun because we'll start talking about like everybody wants to like they want a new year makeover and they want to look different. And they want to switch it up. So we'll kind of switch gears coming up to that. But um, you know, just kind of making your plan. What ideas tonight really spoke to you and your business sound simple enough and are things you want to implement. And those are the things you should do. Um, but I'm going to close us. So if you, uh, I know some of you, I know April and some of you have been reading, um, some of Mary Kay Ash's books. And I, I absolutely love reading her books. I, I have some up on my shelf up there. I have some in my office too, but this one is called Mary Kay and people management. And there's all kinds of like great quotes in here, but, um, I'm just going to close with a little inspiration. So this is a Mary Kay quote. It says, make every day count, make every hour count, make every minute count, and don't stop until you've exercised your full potential, realizing your impossible dream and fulfilling your total destiny to become the person that you and only you are capable of being.